okay good day subscribers You're welcome again to my channel i am joshua so i'm here to solve a very simple problem and one of our subscribers reached out to us days ago saying he is having problems positioning his slash street on other street thereby he is receiving error messages while trying to insert slab strips and um, i feel many other people will have these challenges along their ways of inserting slab strip but this is a very simple thing to solve and i'll be showing you in a few minutes so if you're new to my channel and you're making contact for the very first time i'd like that you use the like button and subscribe to the channel right so straight into what i have to show you um, and for example, this is what we're seeing by implication. If I'm trying to create slab strips around this panel, right, and I pick the point, create a slab strip on the horizontal, then I do the same vertical, and let's see. Now, this is the response, this warning response that you get each time um the slab strip fail so the person that got back to us said he received this kind of error saying that the deflection check in the under the deflection check the section is insufficient so how do you overcome this kind of challenge now there are basic um reasons why these things can come up basically two of them one of the reasons is that your slab strips is not sufficient for that particular um, panel and also it could be that your panel is too large and you know deflection sometimes in fact many times is a function of the span of your slab as well right so the panel dimensions right so the deflection check now can be solved using either of the two means if one doesn't work the other should work or a combination of the two to give a solution to that right so we might want to first check the thickness of our slab and see if we can increase the thickness we can have a solution to that problem if not we'll try to consider our panel let's get to that so i'll need to check my panel thickness or my slab thickness the thickness there is formerly 75 right so i'll try to increase that let's try to increase this to 100 and, and you see that we have to run your building analysis that is to validate it or to update your building analysis so you want to do that and be sure that your analysis is up to date so let's just Let's just do a simple step. So while you're waiting, you can forget that once you try to increase your slab thickness and uh, it doesn't work, the next alternative, if you don't want to keep increasing, the next alternative is to consider the panel image. So I'm going to show you. Now we're here. Let's try to fix our slab strips again and have the same response. On Y axis, see. Now we're still giving that red spot. So we want to let's try to increase the slab a little since we still have allowance of doing that. If it don't have the allowance of the slab is to try to consider the panel. But if I do not want to panel and I see I have an allowance of increasing the slab thickness, please do. So let's consider 150. So if it doesn't work here, I'll just I'll assume this is how far I want to go. Right? So if it doesn't go at 150, I'll consider the panel. But like I said, it's not a master rule. Those might be too hungry. 
depends on what you're designing. The idea is just that you can either increase your slats or consider final length. So let's wait for the business. Check it. Now we're done. Slash trip, okay. The exercises I have this and why are these? Now you see that that error message um, has stopped coming. Now it seems to say that the increment of my slab thickness has solved that differential problem, so I can go ahead with my design. So that would be a simple way of going about reflection error in your job. So thank you. I'll be in the comment section. If you have any questions along this line, I'll be able to answer in the next video. Bye.